Welcome back to my channel. This is The Struggle is Real with Jamie Yeager. Today we are going to talk a little bit about what uh, the struggle in healthcare and what you can maybe do as tips if you if you or a loved one is ever hospitalized, um, especially with COVID. Um, but first we'll go in with my Smashbox under actually um, this, I'm going to go in with this Photo Finish Primer Water by Smashbox. I put in this little tube because that broke in my luggage, like I showed you before. So I'm just going to kind of prime my face, um, kind of get it hydrated. All right, now I'll go in with the Smashbox Under, under Eye Primer. So if you ever get hospitalized or a loved one does, and before the family member could be at the bedside. I think that's kind of lessening up at some points at some hospitals, but um, at any event, if you're not allowed to be there, your loved one really needs to, if they're able, to write down things, write down questions, write down new medications, question the nurses and the docs, doctors. Don't be afraid to really be involved in your health care because that's where um, nurses and doctors could maybe be a little more laxed and not and then make an error. So if you are ever questioning your what medication you're getting or any treatment you're gonna they're giving you, that's okay to ask. Ask questions. Next we're gonna go in with the Huda Beauty uh, pre-makeup base. I've only used this once, um, so I wanted to try it again. Ooh, what the heck? It just squirted out everywhere at me. Um, and some hospitals will provide like a little checklist that has like, that offer spaces to write. Some have, um, a checklist with you know like okay new medications your current medications and everything because I know some people like when they go home they're confused on what they're really supposed to stop on their current medications and um, and then start the new medication so some people that I've seen they'll go home take their old meds and the new meds and some of them was kind of similar and you really shouldn't be doing that and um so that's one of the things that i've seen too that you guys can do is question at the end okay if you don't truly understand your medication list we verify okay what do i stop what do i take now and what do i do with my old meds etc now i'm going to go in with this siva one-step color corrector Especially, I, I got a lot of discoloration here. I got my dark circles. I have redness. So, I am using this one-step corrector with all the colors. I don't know how great it is, really. Um, and I don't know, are you supposed to use it, like, before or after primer? But... So anyway, yeah, definitely, and if the hospital doesn't provide you a checklist, get it a little notebook, have your loved one get one or get one, or, or in the admission packet, they, they'll they have papers in there, and even if you have to write it on the back, at least you are involved, and then you can remember what the doctors and nurses are saying during your um, hospitalization, and hopefully you won't forget when you go home. Now I'm going to go in with this IT Foundation, the Bye Bye Foundation, it, it's full coverage. I'm almost out of this. I really do like this foundation. I think I got this in a subscription box, I think. And I probably put way too much, especially since this is a full coverage foundation. All right, I'm just going to go in with my Real Techniques sponge and blend it in. But yeah, so I would encourage um, that. And if a family member um, doesn't remember 
or the loved one doesn't remember that's in the hospital, a family member even now can call in, Skype. I mean, some nurses will um, Skype. I mean, they should do that anyway, or video chat or whatever you want to call it, and um, talk to the nurses or the doctor or even on the phone, ask questions, um, make sure you're on the list where you they can speak to you because of the HIPAA violations and really be involved in their care even if you can't be there. And even if it's not because of COVID because maybe you live so far away, you know, calling and questioning and teaching your loved one to talk to the, you know, question the nurses and treatment and not even just question I'm just saying, like, just get involved and understand so you know what's going on. Now I'm going to go in with this It CC Cream. It's color correcting full coverage cream, anti plus anti aging hydrating serum. I wonder, wait, this isn't a concealer. I'm just going to go in with my little sample of the Tarte Shape Tape today. Um, Yeah, so I, I'm not saying to be, like, question the nurses and doctors. I'm, I guess I'm more meaning be involved in your care, ask questions, don't be nervous or um, scared to ask questions or clarify or question if they, if, you know, why you're on a medication or, or something, especially when it's something's new to you. In, um, really being involved in your care is really, um, really, really, really beneficial to you um, while you're in the hospital. Not not just because, not just being in the hospital itself and making sure everything's going right, but to know your care and what you're going to be doing when you get out of the hospital. And that's key because so many people forget things when they leave the hospital and then they give you this big huge packet to read and who really reads that I mean I know better and I don't even read it um, I know it's how important it is to do that next I'm gonna go in with the Yensa um, bronzer cream bronzer the other thing I would suggest doing as well is when you get there, make sure you let them know everything. And so they can put it on your admission paperwork. Yeah, sometimes they'll ask you over and over again. And it's, um, and I know it's in the computer, but they're, they're so busy, it's hard to read everything. So if you, make sure you tell them everything so it's at least in the computer so they'll know. When um, don't forget and don't tell the doctor one thing and the nurse another thing because that gets very confusing for the care and um, so you know make sure you tell the nurses and the doctors everything that um, so they can have continuity of care now we're gonna go in with the Milani cream blush I'm getting better at using this cream blush I'm, I think I'm getting better at just cream products because I've been really trying to use them. Ooh. Here I just said I was getting better and I went in with way too much. Alright, I gotta go wipe my some of this off. Okay, next I'm gonna go in with the Benefit Liquid Highlighter. I'm just gonna put it on my face. I and I get like some settings, um, like behavior health setting type settings, and um, the patient might not mentally be able to do what I'm suggesting. Suggesting, and of course, it's kind of hard for them to have visitors because it's locked down for the safety of the patients, and um, but. Con and what I would suggest in that situation is constant uh, communication as much as you can. Like if they have like set times or whatever to 
that you can call the patient because obviously they can't have their cell phones or anything with them um, because of the safety of the patient. Um, but when there are times, make sure you are communicating with them and then calling the, the nurse too. I mean, you can always call the nurse and, and um, see what times the doctors are going to be in and then have the doctors call you. And a lot of times they probably do because um, as long as you're on the HIPAA list again, um, because of um, they they might not totally understand what's going on depending on their condition. Today I think we're gonna go in with this enlightened eyeshadow palette by AB, IBY Beauty, um, and then there it's got a lot of shimmer shades, but it's got some matte shades. So I'm gonna go in with this lighter um shade here and it's called vortex but first i'm going to go in with this her candy eye primer i forgot all about this another tip that you can do while you're in there somebody should be rounding on you every hour and don't feel like you're bugging the nurse or the doctor or whoever else might come into the room either it's housekeeping or um whoever it might be take advantage of it ask questions um that's what they're there for don't ever feel like you're bothering them okay before i go in with that i'm gonna go in with this bye bye pores pressed powder to kind of set my eyes and then my t-zone um and i think that's all i'm going to do right now before I set my whole face. So yeah, I guess um, my whole um, thing the whole point of all of this is be engaged ask questions have your family either call in um, or ask to talk to whoever so you you really understand your health care and i think that's the main key point of that um of what i'm saying through all of this today okay now that that's set i'm going to go in with that um vortex shade and just kind of, ooh, it's kind of darker than I expected. It's kind of pigmented. So, we'll have to make sure we really blend it. I usually set my base before I go in, but I've been getting a lot of fallout and stuff and i have a hard time um doing my eyes first like some people do because of, because of the fallouts um so i'm gonna try just not setting my face yet in case i get the um fallout and then i can kind of maybe wipe it off with the powder when i set my face so i'm gonna try that today and then i think i'm gonna just go in with this sh this shade it's called grown chakra um right here it's a little shimmery but i'm gonna go over the lid with that and i'm gonna use my flat shading brush by la russe <coughs> this seems to be blending very nicely And I didn't want my br brush or anything. It seems like it's, it came on pretty good. Now I'm going to go in with this glitter shade here. It's called Third Eye. I wet my brush. And so we'll see how well this... You know what? I'm going to go in with my finger. Yeah, 
you know, I never have a chance to really get my nails done and I'm a, a biter and I hate that habit that I've had for my entire life. But you think this would pay off, but I just don't know if I do it wrong or what, but I can never get it to really go on my eyelid. It just stays on my finger. Maybe I'm just not pressing hard enough on my eye. Maybe that's it. Okay, I'm going to take my damp brush and try to blend that. Yeah, I struggle with the glitter shades. And I try the tricks that I see. It works okay, but not as good as I'd hoped. Now I'm going to just go in with this um, grown chakra shade again here in this light purple. Even though it's kind of a shimmery shade, I'm going to put it down here and see what that will. Now I'm going to go in with this um, I think this shade here, the almond milk shade, and just kind of highlight my brow, brow like right on my brow bone. Oh, I can't talk today. Highlight there. Now I'm going to go in with this NYX pencil. It's in like a purplish shade for my waterline. I wish this palette had um, a little bit more matte. I had to go in um, to a different old, like, CoverGirl palette and just get a darker purple there for um, my under eye. Because that shimmer shade was not working. I needed a matte. Next, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Sex Litter Eyeliner. Oh. Weird. Wait a minute. Ooh, did I just... Okay, maybe not. I... I don't know if I can work with that one. Okay, I'm going to go in with this Araceli Ojo's um, Liquid Eyeliner. And again, I have to close my eyes and do this. Holy shoot. Wow, I totally messed that up. And this is a very, like, it goes on so well. I liked, I like this, but it's very pigmented and it's um, so, like, touchy. And when I have to close my eyes, so I'm going to have to practice using that. Now I'm just going to go in with this primer. That is old and it's from CoverGirl that I'm trying to use up. Now I'm going to use this Pixie by Petri Lash Lift 188. And there's two of them in here. So I'm going to use this one for the 
eyelashes. The top. And I think I'll use the other one for the bottom. It's so much easier using my niece's um, vanity. But it's kind of hard to have a setup when you're traveling. And you're in hotel to hotel. I can't really bring a good setup. So I'm kind of stuck with what I have. Now I'm going to go in with the little one for, look at how small that one is, how skinny it is. So I think that's what the two is for. One for your lower and one for your upper. Yeah, I like how this applies it on the lower lashes it's so much easier for me because usually I have to go in and cut it like this because I can't get it with the big one because I get it all over the place but it does have a long thing I don't like that on it I wish this part was shorter. Now to take that almond milk, now that I have all my lashes on and stuff, and the inner portion of my eye, to make that pop a little bit. Touch that up a little bit more above my eye and my brow bone. Now I'm going to set my face with this um, Tarte uh, setting powder, Shape Tape setting powder. And um, wait a minute. It does have a thingy where you can maybe tap it out when it gets because I was wondering with the mesh how Okay, so I'm just going to set my face with this. All over. Again, I'm just going to work, so I'm going to have to wear a mask anyway all day. So, I and I get it so, I get, um... The mask, like, so much transfer to the mask. Yeah, so this is, I know it's disgusting, but this is my mask after the day. So if anybody um, has any suggestions on, like, how to really lessen that and transfer it, um, that would be great. I, I, you know, I try different products, too, you know, while I'm at work. I'm going in again with this. Um, Lovecraft Beauty um, bronzer. Actually, actually, I'm gonna try the Morphe palette today. I, um, it's a bronzer palette. I got this in one of my subscriptions. I think I'm gonna go in the shade Donut. I haven't used this. I got this a while. Oh, it's got a big mirror too. I could have been using this. I like the mirror. So if you want to hear more about healthcare and like tips and tricks and um, stuff like that, like what you can do um, for your healthcare, just comment below and let me know. So I know if this is enjoyable, useful for you. Um, 
And you know, I recommend doing this even when you go to a doctor's office, write things down. Um, there's a study that showed that, I forget exactly the percentage, but it was a high percentage of um, people who go into, that was pigmented, the doctor's office come out with this script and it was like 80%, like something like as high as 80% that people didn't even know what their medication was for, that they got the script for. And that's kind of alarming. So even when you go into the doctor's office, you know, make sure you um, ask questions and then write things down. I'm just gonna go in with my NARS blush in the shade Orgasm. It's almost empty and it broke up a little bit in my luggage, so I've been trying to be very careful with it. I did get another one in my um, BoxyCharm, but I haven't been home yet to get it. I'm so excited. And it was a bigger a bigger one. I'm wondering if I got this um, as a sample. because, Or it could have been my Ipsy. I don't know. But I've had it for a long time. I, I love it. I'm going to go in with this Wet n Wild Highlighting Powder. Oh, it's Highlighting Powder. Well, I'm going to just use it as a highlighter. Well, I guess that's what that means, right? I was thinking setting powder for a minute. Okay, that completes the look, and like I said, um, I think I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild um, Rose Setting Spot. Or actually, you know what? No. I'm going to go in with my Urban Decay All Nighter today. And then I'm going to like just let that dry. So if... Again, if you guys want um, anything, um, oh, I forgot my lips. Oh my goodness. <laughs> to know more about healthcare, please let me know. And I will do more of these videos. Or what other type of topics would you want to see? And this is the Wet n Wild uh, Multi Stick that I just bought while I'm looking for the uh, an actual matte lipstick because um, actually I think I'll just do this half caked one again in the shade Loverboy again um, so the trick that my sister gave me again I don't know if you see my other video but after you spray with setting powder all the peach fuzz that I have because I don't shave my face I'm too afraid to I just kind of set it with, um, and then I'll go back in and set my um, spray. So I'm just going to use this mat today. And let me also know if um, these tips were somewhat useful to you. Have a great day.